Okay, so I'm all smiles today. I spoke with my GM and her assistance is amazing. Shout out to Rebecca. Um, also, I just booked my um, truck for my U-Haul rental and I am getting a 26 foot. Um, I am not going to max out the capacity on that. Um, so that's great. My unit here is 18 by 13. So I'm downsizing today regardless because I don't want to take everything with me. So I'm going to get my stuff's donated to our local thrift store and um, take my tax write-off. So that will help uh, next year's taxes. Um, Sarah here at Handy is amazing. And anybody needs local storage here to Cala Mesa, I will refer you to Handy Storage. She is hands-on. Um, so things are looking really promising. I kept hitting yellow lights um, with movers and just the expense. And I just knew that, you know, something needed to be done. I have um, some assistance with my um, family friend who will be making the drive with me. We will be towing my vehicle so we don't have to worry about the miles on the vehicle um all is insured all is great today's a great day i'm loving it and i think i am going to have a happy new life in utah predicting um absolutely um so happy right now um it just such a load off my shoulders from the past two weeks has been just grueling um, with yellow lights. Anyway, so never give in, never give up. Just make sure that you cross all your T's, dot all your I's, and talk to as many people as possible because the move is stressful. However, don't give up because it does get easier. Um, find out who your support is in this and cling on to them with your dear might and just give them all the love that they really deserve and um yeah so i'm gonna go into my storage now i'm gonna start shooting some video on me downsizing what's being downsized and i'm gonna have some stuff that i'm giving away to my family friends stuff that i'm donating and stuff of course that's going with me i really do want to kind of just stick to anything that's 25 dollars of value and higher so that way i'm not doing little sales i'm doing you know higher ticket sales bringing in a larger revenue and won't be doing all the back and forth on small sales however i will have a few um predicted that those items are vintage and um yeah so it's a great day so i'm gonna cut this video off right here and I'll be doing some inserts of my process through the day. I'm going to get my hustle on and see what I can pull out of that storage. So this is tote number one and I am going to go through all of these items in each tote, figure out what's in them and then shove them into an empty tote and then just keep going. This is the totes that I am going to be going through. I kind of already know what's in here based on its location, but I am going to try to work the back wall, which is back there. Um, with that back wall, I know there's some items in there, like things I just don't really feel are going to sell well, or they're just big and bulky and awkward. So here we go. So I'm gonna just kind of record a little bit of what I'm doing. So this item here, so this is nautical. Um, so this here is like a stitch wickery of some nautical items. Um, and this was stuff that I had set in the, in the store. So these are salt pepper shakers. Um, I do collect them. However, I think these ones will be going. And so I'm just going to grab 
grab a second coat for items that are stained, items that are being donated, and so the salt and pepper shakers are out of here. I did make this, but that's out of here. These I feel um, might be gifting. I'm gonna put a gift box over here. So I'll have keep, um, donate, and gift going on. And just getting my hustle. I don't know how many totes I'm actually gonna make it through. And these are some goblets. Those are gone. This is a plant holder. It's a daisy with owls. I think that one's gone. Um, this one is um, a paint. Um, paint. It's kind of like a, a doll. Anyways, it's a paint doll. That one's gone. So this is already looking pretty promising. This one is a floral teacup. So I do want to keep all the teacups in China, so that's going to go there, and onward. This one is a vintage plate. I'm probably going to keep this one only because, like I said, it is vintage. Um, this is a plate, and that's vintage. This is pink floral compote. It's pink glass. That's stain. This is a buggy and trailer. Salt and pepper shaker. I'm gonna keep that one because it's salt and pepper. This is a piggy bank and it's vintage, so I'm gonna keep that one. These try to do this a little bit better. Um, this one's really fragile, so I gotta be careful what I can pack around it. Tuck that there. A few pieces break in this move. I'm not gonna cry. Um, this is a baby carriage. I don't think I'm gonna keep any of the baby stuff. It didn't really seem to be moving very well. This item is a lemonade pitcher. And it has like a Western theme. That one's gone. This one is, so this is a candle, a thumbhole candle holder, um, kind of like the, um, I think I'm going to keep that one. This is a creamer, and that is like from Germany, so we'll just keep this stuff here. This one is, um, it looks like, this one is also from Germany. We're going to keep that one. And so, look, we've already gone through one tote. Pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. I'll film more.
Who doesn't need a hook? Um, I played Horseshoe. rings. Shallow molds. Finished. I'm down four totes. Yay! Be back. Okay, so for today I downloaded one, two, three, four, five, six totes. That's quite a success. I still have more to go, of course, but I have two more days that I want to work on downsizing. I just wanted to get these row, this first row done, and so I completed this row here. So I'm going to work on this stuff in here um, next week and then probably this row in here and we'll see how it goes. I actually have plenty of room in the storage and then I have plenty of room in the truck. So I'm not going to get through all of this, um, of course not in this short period of time and I'll have to do the same when I get there and just continue um, to see what's salvageable and make some money on and what I can definitely get rid of. Anyway, it's going to be quite the giveaway. I just uh, gave away two totes full of stuff. I have one more here for the family and then I'm going to continue to work my way through this and see how far I can get. Okay, so that's the end of this venture for today. Um, I won't be here tomorrow because it's 70% chance of rain. And as you can see, I have to pull out a lot of stuff. And like this stuff here needs to be repacked. This obviously needs to be repacked and um, so forth. So I'm going to be repacking this um, next week and putting it in its proper place and then um and then and then and then okay so thank you all for watching me here in my move to utah it's gonna be so much fun being near my son again i'm so excited um there's nothing better than that okay peace out love you all okay so that's a wrap for today um this is barbara with vintage hotties one 
Thank you so much for following me in my journey to move to Utah as an interior designer and get my new life started all over again and hang out with my son and do all those fun things. So excited. You guys are such a blessing to me. Please like, subscribe, and share this channel as I continue in my journey and I will land in Utah come the end of May and then I will start my DIYs, my interior designing, and just letting you know how life has just been so fabulous. So thank you, blessings to you all, and this is the end of this video. Please again, so important to me to like, subscribe, and share this channel.